Hey guys, welcome to another video on next generation sequencing data analysis. So in this video, we have, uh, we're going to install a tool called VDJ tools. Um, this is also by MI laboratory. We've already installed my XCR from them. And this tool also, you know, analyzes your sequencing data, gives you statistical analysis and really nice graphs. Um, really cool tool. So we will install it. First, we need to download it. We could click download VDJ tools here. It's going to send you to the GitHub, GitHub page. But we're actually not gonna download it from here. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of an easier way to do it. Let's go to their documentation. It's on this page right here. The link is up here. Click this. And there we click on installing VDJ tools. And here you have a link that will say first make sure that you have the right uh, Java runtime environment installed. So, so it says that you know make sure it's uh, at least 1.8. Uh, you can check that by opening up the terminal CTRL Alt T and typing in java hyphen version <clears throat> and there we go so it, it will say uh yeah we have the you know we have 1.8 installed that's fine so what do we do we click this link then download and unpack the binaries from the last release let's go ahead and download this package okay so it sends you to again github page where you can actually download a zip file we, we don't click the vinzip here, we click this one right here, 1.1.zip. 1. 1. 1. 1. We don't need a source code, we just download this right here. Click the zip file, save it. Once, that it's uh, once that's installed, you go to your folder where it is, um, unpack it, okay. I'm just gonna uh, unpack it, it's right here. I'm just gonna um, CTRL exit, so I cut it out, yeah and I paste it into my home folder. I like to have these in my home folder. And if you open it up here, you'll see there's a .jar file. So you can execute this file and use it. Um, if we want to add it to our to our path variable permanently, if you remember, we did the same thing with myxcr. We do that here now as well. So for that, we you go, up, go ahead and open up your um, terminal right now, CTRL Alt T, and we open up following uh, following file right you write down get it this is just a, a text editor um, and you write down uh, this path bash RC open it up it's gonna open up your um, uh, bash RC file right here and down here you already see you know we've we've added this uh, this before and you just have to add the same thing again path uh, uh dollar home yeah and you now type in the folder name of uh, vdj tools so it's vdj tools minus 1.1.1 we do this as well here vdj tools uh, minus 1.1.1 and i think that's it right that was nothing else that should be it and then very important you have to add this bit okay and now you write export path save this and now when you restart your uh, terminal, it should be in your path variable. Echo path, this shows you what's saved in that variable and VDJ tools is in there now as well. So how do we run uh, VDJ tools? So now I've shown you how to install it and the way you run it is, let's go back to the documentation of this, right? I just click back. We're at the documentation here. It's VDJ tools minus doc.readthedocs.io and um, here it says you know the program is then run by executing following line there we go let's just try it out yeah open up our terminal i type in java minus jar and we go vdj tools i just press tab it should auto complete it but it doesn't so 1.1.1 1. 1. 1. i just added the one um actually dot jar this is should be the name of the file let's try it unable to access it uh, let's see why. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the folder. Okay, I quickly solved the problem. So uh, we just typed the ro uh, wrong name in there. It should be just vdjtools.jar. So let's go ahead and java jar and vdjtools.jar. This should open it up. There we go. Now it you know it starts VDJ tools and it kind of gives you all the options that you can use and the arguments that you can use. And we'll, of course, in the next video now, follow along these, uh, uh, the, the documentation to see what we, can, what we can use this for. But first, uh, we should continue um, installing some 
some dependencies of this uh, of this tool because it, it for example uses R and it it needs a current the current R version or at least here it says you know it should be at least 3.1.0 um, so the way you can install everything needed for R you here it says you know you just run down Java um, jar vdj tools jar r install okay so this downloads and installs all the dependencies okay so then it should you know this might take a little bit but then it's gonna add with you know end with passed and r install finished in case this didn't pass and something went wrong it says right here you could also just install it manually all these dependencies you just open up r if you remember you know this was in one of our previous videos you just oh uh, this is how you open r in your terminal or you could uh, use your r studio and when it uh, starts R, you can just copy and paste this command right here, install.packages, and then uh, you add all the packages that are, uh, that VDJ tools requires. So that's how you could do it as well, in case this, um, this would fail. Okay, so now we've installed, we've installed um, VDJ tools, and it's ready to go. So in the next video, we'll start using it as well. You can learn uh, more about different to tools uh, to use at nextgenerationsequencinghq.com. There you'll find all of the other videos that are also on my channel with a little bit of text probably as well. And um, you'll also find a, a course on bioinformatical pipeline scripting, um, you know, where you, where you learn how to write a script, write a program where you can combine and connect all of these different tools that you learn in these videos to write a pipeline script, write just one program that will automate all of your um, sequencing analysis and you know you can just give it whatever folder you want to analyze with all of your fast q files and it will process them all at once and work on them so you can learn that at next generation sequencing uh, come back for the next video where we'll actually use the vdj tools